Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me today on my YouTube and Rumble channels. Today is April the 13th of 2023. As you all are aware, I have not been posting videos for a few months now. The Lord took me in another direction. And in that process, my computer crashed and I lost my editing program. However, I sensed the Lord would like to have me sharing these videos with you once again. I thank you all for your prayers and your concerns while I was off of YouTube, and my hope is that I can continue to release these videos to you in the future. I'd like to share a word from the Lord with you this morning that I hope will bless you. And to keep this video short, because it is very time consuming to prepare these videos, to edit them, and then to upload them. So I will keep this limited and hope you will still receive a major blessing from the word today. The word I'd like to share with you today is titled, Preparation for the Final Battle. I would just like to apologize in advance for all the noise around me. Construction is going on all around, but I will try to keep the audio of this video as clean as possible. I'll begin by reading scripture. Isaiah 60 verses 1 through 4. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the peoples. But the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters are carried on the arm. This is a scripture reference that is very encouraging to us as the Church of Jesus Christ. I'll begin reading this word. In this hour, the power of my spirit is being released, and those round about you will see the light, a great light, and shall be drawn. Preach the good news of salvation to the poor. Do not hesitate to challenge the lost to come home. Speak words of life into the lives of those who are far away, for these words shall go with them and shall minister life into their mortal bodies. I have called you for such a time as this to take my message of life to the nations. Catch the wind of my spirit and soar with me. You shall be lifted high above, and I will show you my plan for the nations in this day, says the Lord. Do not question the workings of my spirit, but flow freely with them, for this is a day unlike any other. In this day I am revealing myself to the nations. I am opening the ears of the people to hear my voice. I am declaring my glory to the nations in this hour. The barricades that have blocked the way and prevented my word from going forth are being removed. My light is burning within you, and you will continue to burn brightly to all those in your midst. Do not fear the path set before you, says the Lord. I am equipping my people, and they shall be fully equipped to do the work I have called them to. You shall lack nothing, for you will be able to do all things through Christ who strengthens you 
and has called you according to his purpose. As you share in my suffering, you shall also share in my glory. Trust in me with all your heart, and you will begin to move out in the areas prepared for you. Draw near to me, stay cuddled up in my arms, for I delight to hold you, to surround you with my love and affection, to bathe you in my presence, to heal you of all your afflictions, and cause you to rise on the heights. Dance before me, rejoice in me, I am your portion day and night. I am taking you out of the world and causing you to be established upon the heights. Do not despise the day of small beginnings. Do not make little the wonderful things I am doing in your midst. When all seems lost, you will see and know that I am near, very near. Who is like the Lord, who can understand his ways? Are they not high above the ways of man? Who can comprehend the faithfulness of God? Who can discern the times? Forever they are in the hands of your faithful Father. I have a plan and a purpose for this day and hour, says the Lord. It is the final hour, and the stage is being set for the final battle. You have not yet won the victory in your own life. Ground has been occupied by the enemy, but in this day, the sword of my spirit is at work throughout the land to cut away ungodliness in the lives of my people. Times are in my hands, and a cleansing work is being wrought. The house of the Lord is being cleansed by the washing away of the works of darkness by my spirit, says the Lord. A lost and dying world is looking for those who will be a light and lead the way into holiness. The temple must be clean and sanctified holy in this hour. Unless the vessels of God are without spot or wrinkle, they will not be able to stand through the trial that is about to come upon the earth. The battle is about to begin. I am stationing my people in strategic locations. Those who are in frontline positions are falling together and tightening rank. These ones shall direct the soldiers in my army. They shall give command, and the ranks shall obey and march forward. The hordes of hell are assembling and are taking position against the church of Jesus Christ. The ram's horn has been sounded, and a battle cry goes up. Pray in the Spirit. Be on guard and pray, for in this hour the battle shall come quickly, and the onslaught shall be great. But I have been building my army, says the Lord, and it is a mighty army, and it shall prevail, and it shall subdue the enemy. This is the day of the visitation of the Lord. This is the hour of his coming to the nations to take back what is rightfully his and that which is the inheritance of the saints. Fight for life. Do not settle for less, for this is the trampling of the nations and the wine presses shall flow with the blood of those who remain unredeemed. Appropriate the authority that has been given to you, says the Lord. In this word today, we can see that the battle has not ended. The things we've gone through are not over, but the Lord has a plan to give us the victory because he is intervening 
to appropriate his plan to subdue the enemy. The Lord is cleansing his house and he is bringing his bride, his church, into holiness and we will radiate his life to a dying world. The Lord is encouraging us to speak his word, to tell the lost that there is hope and that they need to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. I pray that we would all have the boldness to speak forth these words of life and to give opportunity for the hearers to come to know the Lord. Thank you for listening today. I hope this word blesses you, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.